Step three. Step three. Test statistic used. Okay. Uh, in this example, we're gonna use x bar, which is sample percentage, to estimate pi, the population percentage. Okay. So, in step three, we use sample percentage to estimate population percentage. Uh, some other passport term depends on textbook used. Some textbook, they call x bar sample percentage because xk are Bernoulli's. The other introductory test statistic may say x bar is sample percentage if we deal with what? A count box or zero one box, okay? Now, or we use x bar, the sample mean, okay? This is x bar is sample mean. When the xk are not a newly random variable, or in some basic statistic book, they say what? When we deal with what? Non zero one box or not a count box, some box, okay? To estimate mean, this is population mean, okay? Now, Decision, decision. We're going to reject H naught if X bar is too big or X bar is too small. Why X bar is too big or too small? We tend to reject H naught. Look at the example here. If you observe 98 heads out of 103, so 98 over 100, this is your x bar, 0 0.98. This is a sample percentage, 98%. It's too big for what? Too big for a fail coin, okay? If you tell me this is a fail coin, and you make 103, you see 90 heads. Well, I am not going to believe this is a fail coin, right? Because if this is a fail coin, I expect to see what? Well, the number of heads observed should be around 50. Now this is 98 is too far away from what I expect, 50. So I don't believe what? The coin is a fail, a fail coin, okay? So I don't believe what? The coin is a fail coin. That is to say I will reject H now. Look at here. When you correct the evidence, the evidence is more consistent with HA, not a fail coin. And not consistent with H now is a fail coin, of course you will have what? H not rejected, okay? Of course you will have H not rejected. If correcting evidence consistent with HA, not consist with H not, of course you will have what? H not rejected, okay? Or, or you observe what? Five heads out of 103. The sample percentage is only 5%. This is too small for a fail coin, okay? So your decision is also what? To reject H9. Next question, but how big you call it too big and how small you call it too small? Well, we need to cut the line somewhere, right? So I'm going to modify our decision, okay? I'm going to modify our decision. This is our decision. We reject H0 if x bar greater equal to C1 or x bar less equal to C2. 
C1 is a number used to denote what? It's too big. C2 is a number used to denote it's too small. When the observed evidence, the sample percentage is greater or equal to C1, it's too big. When the observed what? evidence, the sample percentage is less or equal to C2, it's what? You think this is too small, okay? Comments. Comments. When the corrected evidence are consistent with HA and therefore not consistent with H time, of course we will reject H time. Okay? The corrected evidence, from the corrected evidence, you see maybe what? HA is true. Okay? So the corrected evidence support HA, but do not support what? H time. We reject H time. Okay? In the next step, in step four, okay, in step four, in the next step, step four, we will determine C1 and C2. How big equal to big? How small equal to small? Okay?